Mormon uh, bucket holder, new one. I'm gonna talk about the good and the bad about it. Uh, overall, it's uh, it's a winner, but um, there are some things that could have been done better on it. So first of all, it's a, a normal bucket on a belt with some few additions. You can, yeah, there's two holders here for washers. You can put two washers in if you want. Um, for many reasons, you might be wanting to use a, a big and a small washer. Um, so uh, there's two places to put your washer. And uh, because the hole is so much bigger, you don't really have to sort what you're doing and, and see what, where you're putting the, the washer because it will go in two holes and it will also sit on the actual divider here. It's now sitting on the divider. You can see it's leaning over. It's not as placed in, but it will still sit on the divider and it won't fall out. So um, that is a benefit because um, you don't have to stop what you're doing. And, and secondly, if you've got a really saturated washer, the way it's been designed, the, uh, the way that you put the washer in, if it hits against the wall here, more likely the water will go inside than going outside, causing you a wet leg. Uh, or uh, a wet shoe because many of the window cleaners that are traditional window cleaners here have a wet leg from like five minutes into their working day and you know now it's really cold because we're in the winter season uh, having a wet leg is definitely something you do not want to be doing but Mormon could have done uh, a little bit further you see this silver holster here it's got an additional uh, apron here to keep my leg from drying uh, to keep my leg to be dry instead of obviously getting drips and, and wet on it in the winter that is just uh, something that I really detested um, with this holster and with all the bucket on the belts that I've used previously and what I also like about it is there is some organization so keeping with the standard sort of bucket on the belt have the right size tool to go into the right size or the right place having two places uh, instead of having a like a gunslinger, just one hole, bug everything in, no organisation, just, I mean, everything goes in, you don't have to stop what you're doing, look what you're doing. You do have to stop and make sure the squeezes are going in, but having organisation will always allow you to work on the next level of window cleaning than having just one hole, having everything put in, and uh, basically using one hand to do all the work, which you see a lot of uh, YouTube window cleaners do with the gunslinger, using one hand. So. What I don't like about it is if you look here, is there is a place where you put your, or a sort of a razor, scraper. I mean, I don't have any scrapers that fit in here. My, one of my razors is here, and my other razor is just here, the pole. One's hand, one's for pole. And a nuisance thing is that when you put your squeegee in, sometimes it goes into the wrong hole. And if it goes in the wrong hole, it won't hold it very well. I mean, it is holding it right now, but normally it will fall out. And having a tall fall out, once you put it in um, a place, is uh, kind of annoying. And if it happens quite regularly, um, you've either got to make sure you're really concentrating or, um, you know, maybe get rid of this altogether. So I did suggest having the holder here instead, but they didn't do that. But they did talk about, or oh, I said to them, what, what, what they should do is having a concave because it's not a lot wider it is concave so it does fit nicely around your legs so it is comfortable another thing i don't like about it is when you've got your especially the end clips when there's a paper clip insert poking out it does sometimes catch on these ridges here so i did question why they had ridges here it doesn't really make much sense having an entry that can be a bit cumbersome putting it in sometimes when you put it in it won't go in you have to you know really make sure it's going in properly that's just a bit of an aggravation and another thing that i don't like about it is there ain't much water in here now but if i tip it you've got to make sure look just like that i've just got water all on here sometimes it goes on the legs sometimes it goes on the feet it's just an awkward tip so Having a stiff sort of, it's great for walking, but if it's got a pivot on it, I used to always hold it anyway, so it's not going to move anywhere. The tipping is really junk, and um, I said to them, go back to the way you used to make your bucket on the belts with a tip. Often get water here, water on your leg. So if you've got yourself a dry leg from having the access going in and out with the washer, but then when you want to come to tip it, you get yourself a wet leg. No point having. Um, having a bucket that 
will keep your dry leg one way, it'll give you a wet leg the other way. It didn't take that on board either. So having an apron, having easy ac entry access with the squeegee holders, uh, with the squeegees going in, and also a good tipping action. They failed on three things. Uh, they took on a few things on board, like I said, but uh, I will probably rate it. Look, it's better than anything else out there, but my expecta expectation levels are very, very high. I would probably give it a three out of five. Um, if I was going to use the uh, the sort of scale of out of five, um, but everything else is like a one or less than a one. So my expectations are high, and um, Mormon kept with their expectations of having high. They will be making tools that are unbeatable in comparison with any other tool, keeping that standard as high as possible, so no one else can really. Um, no other company can really get close to it would be um, a benefit it's better than anything else but it has some things that needs to be improved um, but uh, you know when I first started working with them I said you've got to get your level real high so there's no there's no way of uh, anybody coming in with a counter tool to challenge it um, but the expectations um, isn't there with this tool but it's still much better and the way I work with it allows me to work that much quicker, that much more fluid. Um, so it is better than anything else out there, but still three out of five could be, could be better, room for improvement.